$10,000 profit from sports betting, you can absolutely do it. And what we're going to do in this video is no BS. You know, I'm not a movie producer. This isn't a super fancy video, but I'm just going to run you through how you can make your first $10,000 profit sports betting. So the first concepts you need to understand, because a lot of people will kind of tune out when they hear, oh, you can make money sports betting. People think you can't make money gambling. That's not true, right? There are professional sports bettors. There are people who do this full time for income in the same way people play poker full time for income. So sports betting is very similar to poker. These are skill games, right? Unlike slots, unlike roulette, sports betting is one of the rare, very rare forms of gambling where you can actually have an edge, a mathematical edge over the sports book and make money long term. So the reason I, you know, initially was so fascinated by sports betting is your returns are daily, right? We're not talking about returns on a yearly basis. You know, people talk about, oh, invest in the S&P 500, invest in the stock market. It goes up roughly 8% a year. In sports betting, we're talking about daily returns. When you're betting on the MLB, right, you're placing bets typically for that same day or maybe the upcoming day. So even if you have just a 1% return, let's say in the MLB, there's 162 games in the regular season, you're earning an 162% ROI over the course of the season if you just have a 1% edge, a 1% ROI or edge when betting on baseball, right? So it doesn't really matter what strategy you follow. And this doesn't even relate to odds jam or anything like that. This is just math. If you're earning 1% a day on your bets, that's going to be roughly 365% returns ROI every single year. Granted, it's not passive income. You have to be betting every single day. But again, because these returns are daily, they compound extremely quickly. 3% a day means 90% a month, assuming there's 30 days in a month. And it doesn't matter what strategy you follow. 3% a day, 90% a month. Um, you know, I use a verified bet tracker called Picket, And you can see in 2022, this photo was posted in December at some point. So it wasn't the full year, but at the time I posted this photo, I had a 3.27% ROI on my bets, right? And again, it can seem like, oh, 3%, that's not particularly great, but it's a 3% ROI every day that I'm earning, right? So even if you're only betting, let's say $3,000 maybe a day, or let's say $1,000 a day you're betting, if you have a 3% ROI daily, that's 90% a month, so your bankroll would go from 1,000 to 1.9K, $1,000 to $1,900 with a 3% ROI daily. So now let's get into the second part, which is most important, is first you need to consider your risk tolerance, right? There are different strategies for making money sports betting. So the first strategy, for example, is arbitrage betting. So arbitrage betting, is taking advantage of inefficiencies in the sports betting market in differences in bookmaker odds, right? So essentially what Odds Jam does, what the arbitrage tool does, is it's updating millions of odds from all these sports books kind of in real time. So you see FanDuel, Bet Online, Pinnacle, Bet MGM, Bet Any Sports, all sports books available to you. And you're going to see you know, what the arbitrage tool shows you is when books have such big line discrepancies that you can bet on the over on one sports book, the under on a different sports book and earn a risk free profit. So that is called arbitrage betting, right? This is called arbitrage betting. You're basically day trading sports books. So you have to move fast and you're taking advantage of inefficiencies in the market right? You're literally taking advantage. You're like a day trader, taking advantage of inefficiencies in the market to make little risk-free profits. And sometimes those opportunities are bigger than others. So earlier today, there was a 7% arbitrage bet, which is a lot, right? So if you're betting, let's say you have $250 in your FanDuel account, $300 in your BetRivers account, 
you're going to make 4167 in risk-free profit if you can get this arbitrage bet down right that is a lot of risk-free money for placing two bets which will take you 30 seconds you place two bets you make a risk-free 4167 so a lot of people will be like oh arbitrage betting it's hard it is hard you got to move quickly you have to have multiple sports books so you can't be lazy right you have to have multiple sports books you have to know how to navigate these sports books you know arbitrage bets are when sports books have the biggest line inefficiencies right they are market inefficiencies that you're trying to take advantage of so it's a speed game you got to move quick arbitrage plays like this one they don't last a long time you have to move fast speed game so you got to move fast you have to have multiple sportsbook accounts right so here you need FanDuel and you need bet rivers if you don't have either of these sports books or if you have just FanDuel, you could arb this on pinnacle as well but essentially you need more sports books more sports books because all books set lines independently all books have different prices more books means more arbitrage bets right more arbitrage bets means more money in your pocket so you need more sports books so you can see here i just hit the refresh button and this will show me the newest arbitrage opportunities so hey you can see there's still some pretty good ones out there two percent stuff like that the second strategy which is more risky it actually involves risking capital is positive ev sports betting and positive ev sports betting is actually you know the most profitable type of sports betting and you can see you know the opportunities you want to be taking advantage of are just these bets in bold that are highlighted in green so here you'd want to be taking jordan pool under six and a half assists at minus 122 odds so what you're going to notice is on both the arbitrage tool and on the ev tool there's a percent column so this percent column is just your profit margin right so here you can see okay let's refresh this if we hit this arbitrage bet right here let's say on jordan pool between bally bet and fanduel we're earning a risk-free profit of 4.14 percent so let's say our bankroll on fanduel is 250 bucks we have 300 dollars on bally bet we hit both bets we make a risk-free profit of 23.81, which is 4.14% due to massive inefficiencies in sportsbook odds, right? And it's not like these arbitrage bets are, you know, super common. Some people will be like, how is arbitrage possible? And it's like, well, let's go to Underdog Fantasy. Look at how many lines they have on their site, right? These books all try to set lines independently, right? They have thousands of odds if not tens of thousands depending on the sports book so odds jam is updating for 200 sports books millions of odds collectively in real time to point out these rare few market inefficiencies where you can bet an over and an under and make a risk-free profit right that is called arbitrage betting bet the over bet the under make a risk-free profit that's called an arbitrage bet so here you can see there's a pretty big one, 4%. So you earn a risk-free 4% on return on capital. And you have to remember, this game is today. So this is a 4% risk-free daily return. Think about a bond, right? You think about a treasury bond. What is that return over a year? 1%, some BS like that. We're getting 4% risk-free in a day. Positive EV betting next most profitable type of betting so here you can see your profit margin again two percent so what you want to do if you want to make ten thousand dollars sports betting is let's say your bankroll is twenty five hundred and i'll put this spreadsheet in the description let's say your average profit margin is two point two five percent and your profit goal is ten thousand bucks right so let's say these are the three numbers you can change these are the three inputs right these are inputs so these are your inputs you can change around your bankroll your edge your profit goal so i just put in 2.25 percent because typically you know the bets i'm placing you can see my average edge is roughly 3.27 percent at least in 2022 made 143k at this point when i posted the photo with like 6,000 bets 
And 6,000 bets, some people will be like, that's a lot. I'm rarely betting more than a few thousand dollars a day, first of all. And second of all, it takes like 20 seconds to place a bet. Stop being lazy. It's just placing a bet. So 2%, again, a day is going to be 60% a month. But let's say my average edge is 2.25%. And it doesn't matter, right, if you're placing positive EV bets or arbitrage bets. So arbitrage bets, it just means risk-free money, right? Arbitrage means you have zero risk. It's risk-free money. Positive EV, you have risk, but because your bets have an edge, it's like flipping a coin weighed in your favor. You're always going to win in the long run as a positive EV sports better. You have the edge over the sports book, right? It's like having a coin that's, you know, let's say 53% to land on heads. So we know that coin is more likely to land on heads. It's going to land on heads 53% of the time. If we just flip that coin once, the coin's 47% show up on tail still. So even though heads is the more likely outcome, still 47% show up on tails. But if you flip that coin a million times, right, due to the law of large numbers, law, you know, of large numbers just means there's a big sample size. It's literally 100% certain, almost 100%, 99.9999999999%, right, that that coin will have showed up on heads more frequently due to the law of large numbers, right? So essentially, as a positive EV better, you don't actually have risk if you're placing a lot of bets. Any one bet may lose, but it's more profitable than arbitrage betting, so who cares? Sure, arbitrage betting is risk-free money, but positive EV betting, you're still going to have the same, right? This is going to be your ROI over the course of the long run. So basically, let's say I'm betting $2,500 a day. My average edge on my bets is 2.25%. So what that means is every day, right? So edge means profit margin. So every day at $2,500 times 2.25% is that is my expected profit from sports betting or my edge every day, my daily profit margin, my daily edge. So if you're arbitrage betting, you're just going to earn $56 a day. So your profit as you go towards $10,000 is just going to be like this, right? A straight freaking line. Now, if you're EV betting, you're going to have variance, right? It's easier to bet positive EV. You'll make more money, but you're going to have some up days, some down days. Some days you'll be up $400, some days down $350. But over the course of the long run, the average edge per day is just going to be $56. Bucks. So... If this is your bankroll, this is your edge, you want to make $10,000, that will take you 10,000 divided by 56, 180 days roughly, half a year, right? So let's say you say, okay, well, instead, I'm going to increase my average edge to 3.5%. I'm going to be more selective and just bet on more profitable plays. Well, now it's only going to take you 140, 14 days to reach your profit goal. And maybe you say, oh, Let's actually, you know, I'll get a, you know, I'll put a little more money into these sports books. My bankroll is now thirty-two fifty. Now it'll only take you eighty-seven days. So I'll include this spreadsheet in the description. Hopefully this was helpful. You know, literally just about how to make money, sports betting strategies to consider. Let's get it, guys.